All right, everybody, like I said, I'm going to show you how to also export real-time animations. Now, let me just show you this one I just quickly did. Here it is. Okay, a simple camera panning up, simple camera panning left, and this is what, like an eight second animation, and it took eight seconds to render, which is awesome. And then at the end you can see I can navigate around, and you can actually record yourself during gameplay mode, which is cool, I guess, if you're making a video game, or if you just want to demonstrate to a client what everything looks like. Now I'm going to go through all the steps of creating something like that, and remember you can do you can animate cameras in here just like you can in Max, and you can animate them out in real time, which is awesome. So let me show you the steps. The first thing you need to know about is that we are going into this tab up here, Cinematics. We go into Matinee Actor, because I've already added one, and it brings up a new dialog box. In here you can see I have a camera, another camera, and then a director group. And the director group is telling when these cameras are going to show. So for the first 8 seconds or so, I have test, test 1, and then for the second 8 seconds, I have camera 2 showing. And these are keyframes down here. So let me just uh, erase all this, and we'll start from scratch so that you can see the process of setting this up. But needless to say, when you're done, this is really cool because all you have to do is hit this create a movie, and it runs through these camera shots, and then you have an animation so much faster than 30 minutes per frame or whatever it takes in V-Ray. Okay, so let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. Let me just go ahead and delete the current matinee that I have. Yes. And I'll go and delete the cameras that I have as well. These were extra cameras that I set up. Not that one, but this one. Okay, so when you want to start this, you just go into Add Matinee and before this opens up I'll show you that this adds a little icon into your scene that looks like a movie clip okay so that is your matinee actor and you can see one thing we want to do is play on level load that's going to be important for us and I'll show you why later then we go into that matinee actor right here brings up a new dialog box and we'll want to minimize it a little bit so we can see both screens at the same time this is where having two monitors would be really handy, but with screen capture I can't use two monitors, so you'll have to bear with me here, and you might only have one monitor as well. That's okay. So what we want to do is do add camera group, we'll call it camera one, hit enter. That creates a camera, I believe it's this one right here. Yes. So we need to obviously be in perspective mode, ah, not there. Let's go front, and we need to put this camera up at about eye level right there. Okay, that's great. Now, what we want to do is select this keyframe, keyframe, put the camera in the right place, go to the top view, place it correctly. Let's place it over here and just pan across slowly. Okay, so we'll take this. In the matinee, we'll go to the right time that we want. These are in seconds here. So let's say a five second pan, that's great. And then select the movement track here and hit add key. Okay, and that added a new keyframe here and it's surrounded in orange right now, which means it's selected. Now with that selected, we'll take this, move it across here, like so, it'll create a little line showing you the animation path. So that one's good. If we hit play, if you look here in our camera actor, you'll see there's a pan that's going a little fast, but for demonstration purposes, that's fine. Okay, now let's create another camera. Add new camera group, camera two. Fantastic. Let's see where that's created. Right here. And we will want to, again, select the keyframe and put it in its place. Let's put it like right here. Go to the front view, put it at the right height. Like right, let's start right here on the ground, like right there. 
and of course we want to let's see we want to actually with this selected hold down control and slide it so let's put it let's put it about the five second mark there and then extend the overall length of this thing to 10 seconds should drag that out too okay now at the 10 second range get our slider to there and let's do a new keyframe for the movement of camera 2 make sure that track is selected hit add key and then from there we can take this camera up high like that maybe right there okay and make sure our keyframes are in the right place yes so camera 2 starting here and then going up camera 1 so it's five seconds five seconds now we need to create a director group right click here add new director group okay now once we're in the director group with these two cameras we can set up keyframes for the cameras so what we want to do is go to the right time which will be the beginning of our animation we'll hit add key camera one okay now go in the timeline where you want to start your next camera shot and do add key camera two okay now it's split right there so this director is telling it which camera to show and you'll see that if you hit play right here now and watch carefully on the camera actors we're playing this director and it will uh, switch cameras for you oops start at the right time of course hit play so it starts with this camera camera one shot now camera two okay so that looks pretty good our matinee seems right we have it ready to play on level start so now if you go to launch your level let's see what happens if we do that okay here when we launch our level our little matinee runs which is great okay and then you have control of your scene which is awesome you can navigate around okay so that's what happens now when you actually when when you export your ue4 project and run it that's what will happen it'll run that matinee first so hit escape to get out now how do we save that out as an animation the trick is going back into the matinee actor and here we can just take this director you have to have the director it won't work and then you go into create a movie and here are all your capture settings we're going to just put this as an AVI movie this gives you huge file types if you do a JPEG image sequence you can get smaller ones and it's easier for compositing and stuff like that but for these purposes we will use AVI movie okay and you just hit capture movie and you'll see it'll bring up your level and it'll start going and it's actually recording this right now which is awesome because now we have an animation okay, there you go there's our simple floor material and then we'll have control it'll go to our player start spot we'll have full control we can walk around and it's recording all of this as well now if we simply close out of here close down our matinee minimize go to our file explorer and go to documents or wherever you have your project saved go to my project 2 this is and then under saved and of course you can change where it's putting all these but there's an automatic default folder in here called video captures so here's the one we just did you can see the file sizes are kind of humongous that was just for a few seconds of video which one is later okay so the one we just created is right here we now have an animation that you can bring into After Effects or whatever your editing software is and cut it up, do whatever you want with it, and there you go. So this is another way to share with your clients, show, you, show them what the project is going to look like. And of course, as you all know, if you're 3D professionals, doing actual animations can take forever, but these real-time animations, it actually looks pretty good there's some really nice things going on there with the light blooms and the lens effects and all that stuff 
It's really cool, really hard to create in a traditional animation. And these are super fast, super easy. So all the work is done on the front end. And then once you've got it, you can kind of animate whatever the heck you want in basically no time at all. So you can see the power of this. This is really awesome. So keep that matinee in mind. That's another way to share with others what you've done.